Hey guys, it's Mian, and this is Beauty With Me. When you think of QVC, your mind may immediately go to really excitable TV presenters selling things like Tupperware and slippers and socks and mops. The shopping network has actually become a really big destination for beauty. In fact, QVC is kind of credited for launching IT Cosmetics and making it the phenomenon that it is today. So I thought it would be fun to reach out to QVC and find out what their best selling products are. I have them all in a bag right here and I'm going to put them all to the test today. But before we get started, please make sure you are subscribed down below. Beauty With Me comes out every Monday at 11 a.m. and please follow me on Instagram. My handle is at mian.chan. We'll start with primer. This is the Laura Geller Spackle Under Makeup Primer. It's supposed to smooth over pores, kind of spackle them over, I guess. We'll see. And I'm gonna check in with you guys at the end of the day once this full face is on to let you know how all these products wore. I'm gonna put that onto my face where I get the most oily and brush on one side, and then I'll do fingers on the other side. So I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised. I read the word spackle on that bottle and was kind of like, oh, this is gonna be very heavy. I feel like it's creating a nice even layer for foundation, but it doesn't feel like it's suffocating my skin. So let's move right along. Next, we have the IT Cosmetics Anti-Aging Full Coverage CC Cream. This is a very popular product. It's quite dewy and it actually has great coverage considering that it is like an alphabet cream. Uh, it also has SPF 50. I'm wearing the shade Light. And this is supposed to cover everything, color correct, not crease or crack into fine lines, and provide sun protection and hydration. It has excellent cover. I mean, look at this. It has excellent coverage. Next up on the concealer front, we have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which comes with a sponge and is supposed to brighten, cover imperfection. But I do think it actually blends quite nicely out. This is a very matte concealer. I can really see it under my eyes, but I'm just tapping this in with my finger to warm it up. I do tend to like very emollient concealers, so I do think that this one is a little bit on the matte side. So we'll see how this wears under the eyes and if it starts to look a little uh, chalky. So to set all my work, I'm gonna use this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder. It's supposed to give an airbrushed effect, absorb oil, and smooth over pores. It comes with a little puff. Whoa, can you see that on camera? My pores are like gone on this side. Whoa! Okay, so I'm gonna use a brush on the other side. It does blur with the brush, but I don't think it blurs as well. Like I feel like I have to use more product to get the same blurring effect that I did just using this puff on the other side. Here we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Wear Blush in the shade Exposed. It's supposed to be very long wearing. The Amazonian Clay is supposed to actually balance the moisture and oil levels in your skin and it's supposed to be fade free. So that's a tall order for a blush. I will say you do kind of have to build this color up to get like a very strong flush. I don't think that I have any immediate opinions on it yet. We'll see if it actually wears for 12 hours. Next up, we have bronzer, and this is the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighten Powder. Apparently, this is supposed to brighten and bronze the skin. It's supposed to look very natural on. We will see. I don't really think it brightened my skin per se, but I don't think it looks ready. I think it actually blended in really nicely. But let's move on to highlighter, shall we? This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop. Sweep it onto cheekbones, and it is high impact. I mean, like, I am. You can really layer it on for like really like megawatt shine, but what's nice about it is it lasts a really long time, and it just hits the light in such a gorgeous way. It's highlighter, and it's a good one. There's some bad ones. You know. On the primer front, we have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It claims to keep your eyeshadow from creasing, make your eyeshadow look more vibrant, and give you smoother application. Boom. Boom. Might do some under lower lash line work. It's a great primer. It works. I know it works, so. On to eyeshadow palette, and the best-selling eyeshadow palette is the Urban Decay Naked 3 Eyeshadow Palette. It has some nice matte, some nice metallic shimmers. The Naked palettes are really great for people who really love like neutral, bronzy looks. I'm gonna go into Limit and put that all into my crease as like kind of a transition shade. Then I'm, I think I'm gonna go into Trick all over the lid. Getting a little bit of glitter fallout here, but honestly for a shadow that's this shimmery, I would be surprised if it didn't have any fallout. 
I'm going to go into dust, get it popping. I do think that the shadows themselves, like the matte shade blended super beautifully. I think that the shade selection, if you're looking for something neutral, you'll probably love it. I'm gonna finish this entire right side of my face in terms of eye makeup and then move on to the left side. So I'm going to move on to eyeliner. We have the Mally Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Dark Chocolate. And this liner is supposed to glide on easily and last all day. So I'm gonna use this, kind of wing it out. I think that this bronzy, kind of dark chocolatey shade will work well with the kind of bronzy colors that are already on my lid. Then I'm gonna go in with this brush and smudge it a little bit just to make it look a little more diffused. Yeah, that eyeliner went on really smoothly. I think it set very fast, so I didn't have a ton of time to smudge it, but I do like the way it looks. I think it was easy to draw the little wing. We'll see if it lasts all day though. Next up we have Waterproof Mascara, and this is the IT Cosmetics Tightline Waterproof Black Mascara Primer. And I actually requested info on their best-selling waterproof mascara. I always do waterproof, I kind of think of it as hairspray for my eyelashes. I've never used this before, but apparently it's supposed to be your eyeliner, your mascara, and your primer all in one. It's supposed to last for 12 hours, so that's a lot. All right, moment of truth. I'm taking this teeny tiny brush, so that's definitely holding a curl, but it is very natural looking. So this is giving me a lot of great definition. It's giving me some length. It is kind of cool because you can really get to the bottom of your eyelashes, really scoop up. I think this is gonna be great for bottom lashes. On its own, I think that it's not giving me definition and volume as I would want. So I have the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara here, which is another popular mascara. It is not the best selling waterproof mascara, but it's not waterproof, but see if I can get a little bit more volume. All right, so that's the mascara. I think that that primer is great if you want a very natural look, if you wanna wear it on its own. I think that layered with another mascara, it looks good. I don't think it holds a curl as well as some other mascara formulas do. I'm gonna do the other eye now. So that is the eyes done. I'm gonna move on to lips now. The final step. This is the Givenchy Rouge Interdit Temptation Black Magic Lipstick. What's cool about it is that it looks like completely black in the tube. When I put it on, I think it's gonna become like a plummy shade. All right, so basically the claims are react to your pH to create your own custom sensual shade, and it has rose oil in it to hydrate. It smells really good. Looks black right now. I think I had the exact same reaction to this product when I first used it. All right, so I'm gonna blot it a little bit, get the excess product off, because I think that's what the issue here is. Boom, I mean, look at that. So much better. This is a really pretty stain. I think that I really overdid it on the application. There was too much product on my lips, therefore not all the product was transforming on my lips. And now I think it's perfect. It like, looks like a perfect little berry stain. I think it looks really pretty. No complaints. So this is the full face of QVC bestsellers on I will check in with you guys at the end of the day to let you know how all of it wore. See you then. Hey guys, it is 8 p.m. and I've been at the office for quite some time now and I wanna go home and it's very dark so I figured I would just vlog and end this video right now. I've been wearing this makeup for 11 hours so not quite the 12 hour mark but pretty close. And I gotta say it actually is holding up really well. My skin looks pretty matte still. The blush and bronzer have faded some. Highlighter is still there. Eyes wise, I think the colors from the palette kind of mix together, but the overall eye look I still like. It's a pretty, you know, it's a nice bronzy eye. Eyeliner hasn't creased at all, definitely is long wearing. Got a little bit of smudging under the eye. I think that might have been the um, non-waterproof mascara that I applied over top of the waterproof one. The lipstick is super comfortable. Definitely something that you have to reapply. I mean, it's essentially a tinted lip balm, but it was very comfortable to wear. I think overall, I'm happy with the look. So I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know what you want to see next on Beauty With Me in the comments down below and click here to subscribe to Refine29 and click here to watch another video. Bye.